Now, as a happy, happy files user, I like the ease in which this allows me to organize my media inside any WordPress website that I have or anyone that I actually work on for clients. But there's a lot more I can actually do. And one of the features that I like about that I've started to explore is the ability to use this to actually organize your content. So not just your media. So this can be your posts, your pages, those types of things, templates and so on. Or if you create custom post types, you can use it in conjunction with that as well. The other thing that makes this even more interesting is if you're a Bricks user, you can actually combine the two of these together to create a really powerful way of organizing and displaying information. This is perfect if you've got less tech savvy users that you want to have access to their content and easily organize and manage things and then have that put out on the front end in the way that you want it to be displayed. So let me just quickly show you how this all works together. Now I've already gone ahead, installed Bricks Builder and also Happy Files Pro. You can test this out with the free version and you can have up to 10 different folders. And if you need more, then the pro version is relatively cost effective anyway. So all we need to do is set a few things up. Let's hop over into the settings and in there we've got Happy Files. Let's click to open the settings and here we have the general tab. We've got post types, and this is where we can enable the functionality to use happy files to organize our posts, pages, and so on. So for this example, I'm simply gonna go and select posts. I don't want to use it to organize anything else. You can, if you want to, then set any other options, but for this example, I'm just gonna leave it as is, click Save Changes, and now we have the ability to use happy files to organize our posts. So now if we hop over into the post section, You'll see on the left hand side, we now have the happy file structure. Currently, we've only got all posts and uncategorized and all our posts are then listed in the main section. So nothing there that you haven't already seen. Now, what we can do is we can go ahead and create new folders and we can use this to organize those posts. So let's create a couple of folders. First of all, let's create one called news. Let's create another one just called tutorials. It doesn't really matter. Once we've created those folders, you can see this tells us there's nothing actually inside them. And if you want to create subfolders, you can do that. So you can have as much hierarchy as you want. You can organize things into years, months, whatever you wanted to do. So now what we need to do is select the actual posts we want to use and then start organizing them. So let's say these first three posts are all news items. I can select them and I can come over any of these and I can click to drag and drop those into the news folder. And now you can see news has three different items inside there. Let's select the rest of them and let's drag these into tutorials. So now we've organized things how we want to organize them. Now this is no real difference to using tags or using categories as part of WordPress. However, this just gives you a nice visual, easy drag and drop method, which for end users who may not be that tech savvy, could be a really nice simple way of displaying and organizing things. So now we've done that, we've organized some bits and pieces. Let's go into news and you can see there's our three items. Go into tutorials, there's our seven items. And before I go any further, let me just quickly say this is totally non-destructive. If you deleted the news folder and the tutorials folder, nothing will get deleted from your posts. It will just remove the structure. It's only done inside Happy Files and inside WordPress itself in a visual organizational fashion. Nothing is edited inside the database. So now let's take a look at how we can use bricks to display whatever's in these folders. We're going to come over and we're going to create a new page. We'll give this a name and we're simply going to go ahead and edit this with bricks. Let's drop in a section so we can contain our content. Let's select our container and come over to the plus and we're going to just search for posts. We're going to grab the posts element and drop that into our design. And this now displays all of the posts, no matter what they are. So what we want to do now is apply a query to this. So let's select our posts, come onto the left-hand side, and our option for query is there. Let's select it. Now, you've seen this before if you've done any kind of queries when it comes to working with bricks. So the first thing we're going to do is say, we want this to just work with posts. Nothing else is going to be included. So we'll select that. And then you can order these, and you can order them by, you can do all those kinds of things. We're going to leave that, though, for now. What we are going to do, though, is going to come down to the terms to include and potentially exclude if you wanted to. So now if we click on this, you can see we've got tags and categories and so on inside here. But what we can also do is if we search for the word folder, you can see there's the news folder and the tutorials folder. These are the folders that we've created inside Happy Files. So we choose news from here. This will now filter things out and only show us the three items we'd put into the news folder. If we remove that, choose to select terms again, and we'll do folder one more time. And this time we'll choose the option for tutorials. You can see this now gives us the remainder in this example, seven. You can also, if you want to add more inside here. So you can say you wanted to put two folders. Well, we 
we've already got the tutorials, now we can choose news, and that will then show all 10. But what this allows us to do is very easily create a way of allowing people to drag and drop to organize things in a visual fashion using happy files, and then display that on the front end using only Bricks Builder and a query. It's pretty cool. So let's go ahead and preview this. You can see if we preview it, we've got our seven posts. So let's hop back over now into our dashboard and into our posts. And let's go ahead and just add something else in. So let's go and say, for example, we want to add another item in. So we'll grab something from our news. We'll drop that into tutorials. You can see it automatically updates so we can easily drag and drop things around inside here. We don't need to save or anything. Let's come back over now to our test page. What we're going to do is we're going to refresh this, hit the preview one more time. And now instead of seven, we have eight items inside you. It is as simple as that. So you can use this to really easily organize your content, whether it's posts, pages, custom post types, templates, anything at all. And then you can use Bricks Builder to filter against those folder names. It's very easy, very intuitive, and could be a really nice way of stopping people having to mess about with tags and categories and things they don't necessarily understand, and just give a really simple drag and drop way of organizing your content in any kind of WordPress site that's used Bricks and Happy Files. And that's what I wanted to show you in this video. It's a simple example, but it should be a really cool use case. As always, all applicable links are in the description below. My name is Paul C. This is WP Tetson. Until next time, take care.